gonna be up to your battle. But that's what I wanted, the grind and hunger. Now coming to my first game, I didn't realize that the next level was gonna be this tough. I mean, I dominated high school level, yeah. But here, it's missed tackle after missed tackle. I was in for a treat for myself because I expected things to be easy. And it definitely wasn't. I did have two games of college experience under my belt. And it wasn't the best experience, but what a way to welcome myself to the SEC. One of the biggest rivals in college football is I made my first career tackle, my first big hit of my young career. And I felt good about myself. We was 3-0, dominating defense. And right here, I could have had a pick six, but when the cornerback knows when he has his first career interception, for me, it definitely felt like a welcoming joy because after that interception, I felt like I was home, man. I felt like I could really play this game if I put the hard work and dedication in as I could definitely got better than my tackling ability. Not only was my first interception was blood pumping, but my second interception, you couldn't tell me nothing. I knew I can play this game with the best of the best. Yeah, five-star athlete, I committed to play cornerback at Louisville, but I could have went anywhere in the country. Anywhere. Well, they promised me that I would get a lot more playing time than a lot of these other big schools. Traveling back home is pretty much where I'm from. Going against Temple, who's surprisingly 4 0, I knew I had to put on a big time performance for my family and friends. And boy, did I perform as I called the fumble. And I was hyped. I was ready to go. My adrenaline was rushing through the roof as I made this open field tackle as we, of course, get the W. Next week practice, I showed up and showed out. When I say showed up and showed out, coaches was impressed. Impressed enough that they pretty much said, hey, this kid is ready to move up on the depth chart. And I was just like that, number three on the depth chart. Now, I was getting a lot more playing time. A lot more playing time meant more responsibility. And I was definitely ready for it. Committed here. I told the coaches, I'm going to be the best to ever would do it when it's all said and done. Yeah, I get my another interception on the season. And that damn sure won't be my last. But first and 10 right here, the receiver catching the pass. But we jarred the ball and lose some force incompletion. Now, we already up by 14. And right here, it can't get no better than that. My first career pick six. A one-handed pick six. One thing I will let these quarterbacks know. It's just not to throw my way. It's the best to avoid my side of the field as I get another interception. And we're up comfortably right here. 35 to nothing. As I said earlier, I'm not your average cornerback. I will come in late at boom. Coming into this game against 4-1 UCF, we knew we had to show our dominance. As I make an press open field tackle on the receiver, get a TFL on the quarterback. But first and 10, we up by four points. And I make an impressive open field tackle on the running back as the offense put seven on the board. So we feeling good about ourselves and the defense can show their dominance as we pretty much handled our business in that last. Pressing as a team was, we knew we had work to do. And in the very next practice, I continued to show my dominance as I moved to number two on the depth chart. Looking back on it and the way I started, number four cornerback to now being a number two cornerback, I thought things would be a bit more exciting, but they wasn't. Simply because they was going to my side of the field. And right here, I laid a big hit on the right receiver. Now, of course, a lot of work that I put in, I was now number one cornerback on the depth chart. Now, this is where I belong. Number one cornerback on the depth chart. Now, going against one and six Charlotte, we knew it wasn't going to be a lot of competition. But we had to show Charlotte why we was ranked number six in the country. The reason why we was eight and zero. Right here, I get another big hit on the receiver. Now, coming into this next game against three and six Houston, we definitely don't want to take this team lightly. As we get a big hit on the running back. That's one thing about me. I'm not afraid to stick my nose in there and make a play, especially for the team. Yeah, intercession is great. Intercession is awesome. But for me, getting big hits on the tight ends and receivers. That's just worth satisfying. And second and 10 right here, I can't believe this cornerback really tried me, but my foot was out of bounds and that interception did not count. But third and 17, once again, the receiver could not hang on to the pass. I intercepted, looking to take it back for a pick six. And that's exactly what I did. My second career pick six. Now coming to this next game against three six Memphis, as I said last game, we don't want to take no team lightly. Just because of their record doesn't mean they're looking for the upset. 
being that we was number nine, number five in the country, seeing that 10 and no, we knew that every game we had to play, like every team was undefeated. Now, one thing I love about this team, but mostly this defense, is we hungry. Of course, we are ranked number one in total defense in the country, but not only that, if our offense can put up points consistently, we unstoppable. And right here, I don't know what the hell my teammate was thinking as we wanted that shit out, but of course that didn't happen. I blew up that screen pass. It was fourth quarter under men remaining. And right here, another impressive one-handed interception. That was my first interception in a couple of games, so you know I was hyped. Now this game right here against number three in Cincinnati, we was down by seven in the second half. So we knew we had to scratch and claw and fight our way back into this game. And the defense, we accepted that challenge. Now we needed a spark. Somebody didn't need to make a play. And who else, no other than me. That interception definitely sparked something for this team. As that pick six tied this ball game up early in the fourth quarter. And right, like I say, that pick six definitely woke this team up. Right here, they gonna try me again. Another second interception on the game. Unfortunately, we can return it for a big six, but our team ended up getting a field goal. And right here, the front four, they just continue to show their dominance. Now, Cincinnati did scare us in the first half, but the second half, we gelled together and offense came together, and we pretty much went on the run. But fourth and 14 right here, I'm making an open field tackle, and that pretty much summed up that game. But unfortunately for us, we did not make it call the football playoff, so we had to settle for the Sugar Bowl going against number 11 Oklahoma Sooners. Now, after doing a lot of film study of what route receiver receivers like to run, the game pretty much became easy for me as I nearly had my first interception of this game. We were facing a dual threat quarterback, but of course we were definitely ready to prepare for it. As the quarterback ended up getting 7 yards in the first down, but second and 10, Y'all know I had to come play my game as I make a op nice open field tackle on the running back. But third and nine right here as a defensive end get home and end up sacking the quarterback. But second and eight right here, a gang of our teammates and I made the open field tackle. But second and 13 right here, we up by seven. Like I say, we're going to treat this game as a national championship game. As the offense put up 14 points and it's nowhere for their running back to go. But 13 second level before halftime, but second and three. Right here in the quarterback end up going down for yet a sack. Not only did we need a lot of breakdown of what receivers like to run, also the quarterback. And we was definitely ready for any kind of read option. Right here, as I said earlier, I know these receivers tend to see what Rousey likes to run. They couldn't fool me. So we up 24 to nothing. And right here, receiver, you know, getting a huge gain on the play. Dominant as we was, Oklahoma definitely marched down the field as we wanted that shut out, but apparently that didn't happen. But first and 10 right here, swing out pass to the running back. And you know we had to lay the big hit. And we ended up winning that game 31 to 6. From where I started from to now, winning Jim Thump Award, it definitely was an impressive feeling. But I definitely wanted that national championship. As I made the first team all NCAA as a cornerback. As a true freshman, my dad would be proud. And we ended the season number two in the country. Do we got more to prove? Of course. Do I got more to prove? Of course. But I'll see y'all next season. The tree. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret everything that you done with me. Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.